Hello Taurus, it's Ariana, how are you doing? I hope you're doing super, super fun, fabulous, and enjoying the month of October. Are you ready for spooky season? So, with that being said, let's talk about what's going on here. If you're new to my channel, bienvenidos. Where have you been? I've missed you, I'm so glad you're here. Hit that like, that share, maybe even subscribe. And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Now, with that being said, the way these readings are gonna go, we have a little bit of a general message. We're gonna go into a little bit of the highlights of what to look forward to this month, a general love, singles, couples, assigns, and money. All right, Taurus? So, starting off with this, October 4th, Mercury enters into Libra. The planet of communication, if I could talk today, is entering into justification. On the 8th, Venus, the planet of love and luxury, enters into Virgo. This is about looking at the nitty gritty, paying attention to the details, and is it worth it, okay? Right before cuffing season, Venus is like, look, we got to make sure it's worth it. We got to make sure things are okay. Now, on the 10th, Pluto goes direct in Capricorn. Transformation is about to happen to establishing government's rules, regulations, things of that nature. That's another video. Now, on the 12th, Mars, this planet of action, goes into Scorpio. We're about to really make things happen. There's going to be a lot that you hear about in the upcoming news, a lot of like exposing of things and exposure happening okay and then on the 14th we have the new moon solar eclipse in libra this is going to be amazing energy and oh yeah amazing whether good or bad it's going to reveal something and it's going to show us things for the next six months okay on the 17th, Juno enters into Virgo. Juno is the asteroid of marriage. Going into Virgo is saying, is this really a good choice for you? Are you looking at things clearly, okay? On the 22nd, Mercury enters into Scorpio. We're talking about things. We're really developing these things. And on the 23rd, happy birthday, Scorpio. It's your season. The 28th, we have the lunar eclipse in Taurus at 5 degrees, 5, 5, 5, right? This energy is coming in for change in Taurus, which rules the second house. This is going to be in our finances, in our food, and in our luxuries. Now, happy Halloween if you celebrate the 31st, all right? Asam Sahamin, I don't know, I always say it wrong. Um, Day of the Dead, things, however you want to look at that. I think it's actually November Day of the Dead, but... Happy Halloween if you celebrate. Okay? Okay? All right. So, with that being said, let's talk about a yes or no question. Mind's eye. What you got for me, boo? Well, question one. Question two. What you going to do? For question number one, it's a yes. It's coming through. It's strong. It's happening for you. For question number two, it's a yes. Face your fears. Don't be afraid, especially around the new moon. Now, with that being said, your ancestors are telling you to really connect with water, okay? Clearing, cleansing, being around the ocean, really connecting with water, performing water rituals, okay? Whatever that, whatever that means to you, I'm speaking to you. Now, the herb that's coming in for you is that of yarrow. And yarrow is this beautiful little plant with a lot of beautiful things, like a little white flowers everywhere. And I'm looking at some notes that I have here. So this is really good for protection. It's also good for boundaries. It's known to put a bubble of protection around you. They used to use it in love spells, like you would put it on your marriage bed to keep the connection calm and peaceful. And then they also used to put it in their dresses. And the first man that would talk to them at church, that would be the lover. And they would use it to also divine who was going to be their um their husband now physically this is great for infections inflammation indigestion heartburn you can make it into a tea in a bath and it's also good for eczema okay so with that being said your energy this month is the shit you have got to get clear on what you want taurus what do you want where are you going towards what do you want to become what do you want to do how are things moving okay the cheetah the cheetah energy makes me think about quickness right? It's like once you get something in your mind, you're ready to move forward. There is something with the initial C also. C could be very important for you. Chris, Cora, Carrie, I don't know. I don't know your life, but that's what's coming through, okay? The number 333 could be very important from what the numbers I'm looking at, all right? Now, 
When we talk about the new moon eclipse, this is about you really focusing on your courage, manifesting things. You could also be dealing with a Leo, having the courage to speak to them or another fellow fire sign of them. The full moon at the end of the month wants you to focus on compassion for yourself and reconnecting to the universe. All right. Lots of C's coming through. Now, when it comes to love, my cutie pie, why are we so sad? Okay. We have the world card, not the world card. I don't say that because it's a 21. Do some for me, right? Anyways, this is Uriel and the Sphinx. And what happens is the Sphinx gets covered by the sand and then it gets discovered again. And then it gets covered and then it gets discovered. And so I feel like there's something that keeps getting revealed to you over and over and it puts you in a state of being really upset. It could be a relationship that didn't get away, didn't go, didn't work. It could be the one that got away, whatever it is. It's making it very difficult for you, but this is about accepting things gracefully and allowing things to just happen the way they were supposed to happen, right? A lot of times we're like, oh, that was the perfect person, but the wrong time. How could they be the perfect person and the wrong time? How about it was just a glimpse to show you what other great things are coming? It's the way that we speak to ourselves. You're not missing out on anything, Taurus. Okay. Also, you could be dealing with something with um, overwhelming feelings of regret that could resurface with the eclipses. Okay, especially with it's in your sign. So when it comes to love, our general sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, we're ready to give our couple love. We're moving on. We're taking our time. Justice will be served, okay? We are making things happen. We could be dealing with a, an air sign, okay? Lots of air, king of swords, justice. Could be Libra energy coming in for you. From the past, okay? That's that Uriel and the Sphinx, and the answer is yes. So we have here the sun, justice, and the devil, okay, majors, and then a new beginning in love, a new beginning that's taking a really long time because we're weighing our options, and we have got to set ourselves free from an individual or from a way of being, and we have to open our hearts, okay, the 11th could be very important for you, let's get to clarity, what is this ace of cups about for my beautiful Taurus, what's it about? The thinking man, you've been thinking about someone or someone's been thinking about you and you're liking it. You could have met them out at a big like community gathering or a party. Um, let's get some more information there. Could at work party, okay, at a work situation. You had a good time, you're enjoying it and you're ready to move forward. It's like you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm doing well. Justice comes through for you. What is this with the Ten of Cups? So there's a situation that's going to be justified when it comes to family and work because I have the two tens around justice. And you're walking away from something that no longer serves you. All right? Because you know your value. Some of y'all are leaving your job, okay? Because you're getting a better one. Or you're going to invest more time in a side hustle. That could become your full time. The King of Swords says, be about your money, Taurus. It's yours, boo. It's all yours, okay? And the devil is saying we've got to heal. The sixth, the fifteenth is coming out for very important, and the sixth, okay? Because I have fifteen fifty one. So this is what I'm getting. When I see the number fifteen, it's tied to the devil, right? This could be a really bad habit, or like you getting in your head too much. And the fifty one is telling you flip that, like change the way that you think about it. For instance. I get really nervous when I talk in front of people, and today I am, I forgot my glasses, thank God, because I had to do a presentation at, at work, and um, I couldn't even see anybody. So I was like, if they can't see me, I can't see them, and I just had a great presentation. So it's also about changing things. Oh, I'm never going to find love. Oh, the universe is holding me out for the right person, you know? So it's just like learning how to use your words as magic, okay? The sun wants you to know, take a break. There's something on the 19th. The sun and rest and rejuvenation are both on the number 19 or the 10th. Okay, the 10th could also be important for you. So 
there's a lot of important days coming in. I think it's building up to this. When it comes to relationships, this is about you really getting justice. Like, I think a lot of things are being revealed for you, Taurus. You're going to see things differently if you can get out of your head and open your heart. Get into your heart space, love bug. It'll, it'll be amazing, okay? It'll be great. You might, you might even like it, all right? You might even like it, all right? So let's see here. We're using some new cards called the Cosmic Insights. So let's see what do we have here. Oh, okay. First, first card is Mercury Retrograde. <sighs> Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So something about this relationship, there could be travel issues going on. We're not communicating effectively. We found something on their phone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy comes through for you, but it's because your guardian angels are protecting you and a lost loved one watches over you and they're making sure you see something. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who wants you for your money or because they feel that you have a lot to offer, okay, and they want to take it. And your guardian angel is like, hell no, you can't have their money because guess what? You're a gold digger. Mm-hmm. Garden Angel ain't playing with them. And if they ask you to buy him a car, it's a no. All right? Okay. Or electronics. No. What is the energy for our singles? We have here the high priestess. Trust your intuition as you're moving forward this month. Put yourself out there. Do not be afraid. You got this. You're amazing. And then there you are. There's that... Um, the number three, that 21, the third or the 21st, it's like you get tied back into your heartstrings, okay? Quick communication, possibly from an ex coming in, and we want to burst something new. And be careful with a one-night stand. It could lead to a family. <laughs> I ain't nothing wrong with it if that's what you want, but if it's not what you want, then, you know, hey. So what does the High Priestess want you to know this month? What does the High Priestess want our singles to know? The Nine of Cups. Um, beautiful promises coming through from the past. But you're like, I heard it all before. You already know it's a lie. If they didn't come through the first time, boo, they ain't coming back the second, the third, the fourth, or the fiftieth time, okay? They are what they are. Read the room, boo. Read the room. Always making these promises. Knight of Cups energy coming in. Could be a water sign, okay? But it's like, you don't know if you should believe them. And all signs point to no, okay? You should not believe them because they're a gold digger, okay? They want your money and they're using you. So... The universe is kind of saying, like, look, there's going to be a lot of love bombing, a lot of, girl, you look so good, or hey, boo, you're so handsome, let's go to dinner. And you're like, oh, let's just go do this. And they're like, no, I want dinner at this restaurant. You know, they got their, they got their eye on something. The number 25 comes out, which comes down to a 7, okay? Be aware of that. A lot of online communication, they could be following you online, and they always want to have sex with you when they see you. Yep, confirmation, okay? But you're like turning your back on them. You're like, no, I can't do this. I can't repeat this cycle. Page of Wands energy is like, you're throwing yourself back into the dating scene and they're mad. Somebody is very mad that you're not talking to them anymore because you moved on. Okay, and, and this is the thing with moving on. Like, we can move on, okay? We can move on. But it doesn't always mean we're healed. And that's why Uriel and the Sphinx is coming out. It's like you've moved on and then you get right back here in the heartstrings. Why are we in our heartstrings? Ace of Cups. Decisions. You meet someone new. And they want to give you the world. So you're, you're trying to make this person like the last person. And some of you are afraid to mess up a family situation. But... You know, this is beautiful. Ace of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Use them swords to cut the strings and enjoy what's being offered to you, okay? 
Release the past. Nostalgia. Release it. Let's move forward. Eight of Wands. That's what your guardian angel is bringing in. Something quick and fast. By the full moon. A new beginning's coming through. And it's happy time, boo. Happy. Which leads to this empress energy. This is beautiful energy. But you're unable to enjoy it because you're afraid of getting stabbed in the back when it's the three of cups. There could also be a pregnancy coming in. Okay, there's something about this 3721. 3721. 3 times 7 equals 21. It just keeps sticking out in my head. I don't know why. But it's just like screaming in my head and there is an addition. And they want to build a family with you. I feel like you could have someone coming into your life that really wants to build with you. But you're so stuck in what this other relationship did or your past relationship. <sighs> that you're afraid to take it. So this is your choice. Like you've been praying for a breakthrough, right? You want things to change. You want things to get better. But it's like you're unsure on how to get there. Like you don't know how you're going to get there. You don't trust the, the process. And this three of swords that's coming out for you is a very painful situation. Like it's, it, what is this about? It's over. The grave comes out. Information or communication but there's something new. There's new information. There's like, so here's a little story about Jack and Diane, all right? My daughter, young love, okay? Young love. We used to cry and say she was never going to meet somebody that she loved the way she loved her previous boyfriend, okay? Young love, guys. And don't diminish, don't diminish the way they love because they love with a pure heart, not a jaded heart, okay? So she's telling me how she thinks she'll never meet anyone. And we do a reading and I'm like, girl, you're going to meet somebody with curly hair, blah, blah, blah. I describe the guy down to a T. And about a week later, she calls me and says, mom, I'm going to need a dress because I'm going to homecoming with, you know, this little boy. Well, he's not little, but this, they're in high school. And to see her so happy. Guys, if you learn to love with a pure heart, with that fresh heart, and stop carrying that jaded energy, Taurus, you too could be happy. But you're deciding to hold on to something that's dead, something that's not coming back. And because you're unwilling to release, you're not going to get what's really coming to you when it could be so beautiful. And like Lauren Hill said, it could all be so simple, but you rather make it hard. You are expanding this. There's someone who wants to have a family with you. They want to enjoy life with you, but you're so afraid. You're so afraid that they're going to be just like the last person that you don't even give them an opportunity or a chance. So get out of your own way. Okay. It might change your read for the month if you do. So Taurus, let that eclipse get it out. Who's coming in for Taurus? Oh, big booty. Yeah, thick thighs, save lives. I'm loving it. Whew. This person is a hottie with a body. They a brick house, baby. They looking good, male or female. I want a piece, okay? So we have Cancerian energy overall. This person is sturdy, dirty, baby. And not in a way, but you know, like, damn, when you see this person, you're going to be like, wow. This person also has a very round face. They're very beautiful. Libra energy with the ring. Then we have the anchor, curvy bottom. Ow, okay, thick thighs. Then we have the rider, Gemini. Nice, sturdy legs, very youthful, loves to talk. Clover, Sagittarius energy. This is that energy of also green eyes, brown hair. Very lucky individual. And this is someone new, okay? Because the writer's here. It ain't some dusty, musty old person from the past. Let that one go. They really love shoes. There's something about their boots. These boots were made for walking. And you know how you're going to know? It's because when you meet this person, that dusty, musty from the past is like, hi, hey, hi, hey guys. Trolling on your page. And no thank you. There's also something about a rainy day, possibly, and you could meet them online, okay? And they dress very well. They dress very, very well. Give me, give me more. Yep, that troll is spying on you. Someone is watching your social media because you're about to get intimate, all right, Taurus? 
and take a trip. Mm-hmm. Because someone wants to get in the middle of this. And it's not going to work, Taurus, because you watched this read with Arena and you got the tea, boo. And you're going to make better choices with your heart because you deserve to fall in love. All right? That's what it is. Everybody deserves some little love in their heart, okay? Love with a pure heart. I don't know how many times my heart has been broken and I go, <laughs> maybe it's a Leo trait. I go into it like this is going to be the best adventure. And sometimes I'm proven wrong. <laughs> But each time I go in, like, it's going to be the best. Yeah. You know, will I ever learn? I don't know, and I don't care. I just believe that when you meet people, you just love with your whole heart. And if they're unable to accept it, that's their fault, not yours. Don't change who you are. Don't be bitter. All right, for my couples, we have moving. Somebody wants to move in, move out, or move about. And someone from the past is coming back. Yeah. And gold digger again. So that person who's coming back is all about your coins. And there's the air sign. Y'all saw me shuffle. So it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius um, that wants to come back. Um, they see you happy. You know, it's really sad when people do that. When they see you really happy and then they get you back and then they fucking do it again. Like, what's wrong with you? Why would you do that? We could have it all. But you just want to be acting like boo-boo the fool. So, re like boo-boo the fool, okay? Here we go, Taurus. What's the energy for Taurus? What we got here? Decisions, decisions, decisions with the judgment card, okay? Why? Because we want to get married with the Hierophant. Or oh, we're already married, one of the two. And then we got to do, we got to. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Some of us are learning. We're growing. We're developing. You see how he's got that book? And he's like, look, I got this coin. I want to invest in this new home. But we got to do a little take it easy with the Temperance card, okay? A little take it easy leads to the Three of Wands, victory. Take your time in pursuing this situation because it leads to the Six of Cups, all right? No, I lied. The nine of cups <laughs> with the fox. And the fox is a very trickster energy, but it has apples and grapes for abundance and a lot of wine. And he's not doing nothing but dreaming, okay? So for me, this is dreams do come true. There was a book that I used to read to my kids called, this is by Christy Yamaguchi, called Dream Big Little Pig. And she just couldn't find a sport. Mm-mm. She wasn't good at anything, but damn it to hell, she put on them ice skates, and that pig was skating, okay? Great book. I recommend it. Dream big, little pig, okay? I'll tell you. I don't know how I... That's what this reads about. Dream big, little pig. You got... <laughs> you have this. So this is like you really... You pulled your own card here. This to me also says putting yourself first. And you see the Hierophant has the book, Right? You got the book and you're instilling this energy in your future, okay, into the Knight of Pentacles. And you're like, look, we're going to take it easy because I see victory. I see something beautiful happening, okay? And that's that energy coming in for you. I'm getting excited. For my couples, what do you see? You have to make a decision. I told you they're coming back. Damn it. Look, it's like... And we over here, I got the devil D, or I can stay married. I don't know what to do. Want to be a hoe, but I want to grow. I don't know. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Come on, friend. Whole life ain't forever, all right? The whole life ain't forever. We got, we got to settle down sometime. It's going to leave you with a broken heart if you take them back. The higher fin with the higher fin. What's this about? Blind justice. You know, leave that dusty musty in the past. Take that Ace of Cups. Take that new beginning. Focus on what you got. Don't, don't do it the Shady McGrady way, okay? Knight of Pentacles, there's that judgment. You're like, you know what? I'm going back to basics, boo. I'm, going, I'm taking it back to basics, okay? I'm not going to rush this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to believe in this, and I'm not getting tied up. Interesting, she's all tied up, but they're tied together with their family and they're focused on the heavenly. Okay, this is tied up to something that's not no bueno. It's 
Aces and no bueno. The 23rd could be very important. That person that that is what? That devil D or devil P? They are so jealous. How did Taurus do so much better than me? Why? Because you're dusty musty and you need to sit your ass down. Pay attention to the moon. There's number the number 32 and 23. So there could be an age difference, a difference of opinion. There they are, damn dirty snake. Bringing in something new. New information. Sexual information. Bringing it to the light. Temperance is the advice. Pay attention to what's coming for you. Know your worth with the Empress. Because you don't have to be on the struggle bus anymore. And the Three of Wands says have strength. Because you're going to be respected and honored like the Queen of Cups. The Nine of Cups says the Three of Pentacles. It's all going to work out. Some of y'all are going to be buying a home together. Okay? Then all of a sudden, like you might post it on Facebook, Instagram, what's the other thing? TikTok, whatever. And this individual sees it and they're like, oh, hell no. And then you're like, oh, hell yeah. Okay? Oh, hell yeah. Third, the sixth, the tenth, eleventh, twenty-first, the ninth, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-three. Okay? Important. 27th information is coming in and the 21st because that 21 keeps sticking out to me. I really feel like this is you really staying strong in your nurturing, loving nature with the Empress and the Queen of Cups. That is like the kindest mommy, the kindest lover, the most nurturing lover you could have. Or you could have this. You could have a rutabaga. How many people eat rutabagas all the time? Now, it's a nice rutabaga. I'm going to give it a, 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 a 9 out of 10, okay? But what's attached to that rutabaga is dusty, musty energy. Give me, give me clues on this, this dusty energy. Hey, remember me? DMs, notifications. You want to go grab a drink? Might bring you flowers. They have a tattoo, possibly. They smoke. And they're very sexy, okay? Very sexy, very Sagittarius energy, fun, playful, doesn't want to commit until they're older in life. But now they see you moving on. And now they want to come back. And no, no, this has been a common theme for the earth signs. I feel like you guys have really been moving in a different direction and you're happy. And this, there's someone who does not want to see you happy. Go back to basics. Go back to basics. I'm going to put back. Two basics. Mm hmm Because I don't forget. I ain't saying she a gold digger, okay? But she ain't messing with no broke Taurus, okay? Nope. They, they see that you bought that house. They see what you got going on. And they want to be a part of it, okay? They want to be a part of it. Well, use protection if you do it. Want no trap babies. Okay. Guidance for our beautiful strength. Some of y'all have a Leo in your life. Love them. They're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. It's going to be abundant. Have some patience. Don't be afraid to leave behind the dusty musty to get something beautiful, okay? And they're going to come with the shenanigans, boo. But you got something better. So, you know, I always hear a lot of women say, oh, but the sex, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and I want this and I want that. And, and then they'll call me and they'll say, oh, he cheated on me and he did this and he did that. And I'm like, okay, but was the sex good? Because that's what you asked for. Pray that the person attached to that wonderful sexual organ that you want or sexual experience has a heart to match it and a soul that wants to connect with you. There is more in this life than the physical. There is more than just that. There is intimacy. There is love. There's mutual respect. There's things that we should have in common, conversations. If I can't ask you something, we should not be having sex. If I have to go ask the tarot reader, if you like me, we shouldn't be having sex. <laughs> you know, but it happens. But I feel like that person who wants to come back left you very confused. And now you're doing so much better and you're doing so good. 
Don't mess it up. Okay, don't mess it up, my love bug. Let's go through the signs, Taurus. I'm talking too much to you, like if I like you. <sighs> and I do. <laughs> I do, I do like you. But I'm on a time crunch. I gotta go pick up my daughter. Okay, let's see here. This is gonna be Taurus through, Aries through Pisces with Taurus. So, Tauro, you are the three of wands. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines. And she's like, oh, let me protect myself. Aries is like, whoa, Taurus, you're coming out a little too strong. And yeah, you want to put some love on it. There could be a third party situation, okay? Make sure that we're going half on a baby and not half on a baby with someone else. Clarity, the first could have been very important. Taurus, you are the four of swords. You are resting, recuperating, and Taurus, the other Taurus is like, I'm going to get that ass. Get up! My way or the highway. Financial issues is what's the cause. And the tenth could be important. Taurus, you are hot fire, and Gemini is tired of the communication, the miscommunication, especially about finances. They're spinning their wheels. The nineteenth could be important. Taurus, you are making a decision. And Cancer says, bring back that love and feeling. But instead, we're doing nothing but arguing. Okay, important day, the 18th. Someone feels very attacked. I'm going to go with Cancer because they're very sensitive. So make it right or move on. Okay, Taurus, you are the magician with your back towards Leo, who said, mm, are we going to talk or what? Solution, we're not. Spilled milk. Somebody spilled the beans. Somebody said a little bit too much when they were drinking. The answer is the seventh is important. You are the king of swords. And Virgo is the sun. Yeah, you ready to get that ass. And we have a spirit guide in the center. A spirit guide is really trying to open your heart up right now. But patience, just a few more months and good things come to those who wait. Okay, it's worth the chase, okay? And your lucky day is the ninth. You are the wheel, you're moving forward, and Virgo said, hi, let's do it. I'm new, baby, but we don't know what to do. We are kind of caught up in a very sexual energy here. The fourth could be important, okay? Here you are as the queen of pentacles. Pay attention to your dreams. And that was Leo, Virgo, Libra, right? Let's see, Gemini. I always do this, Gemini, Taurus. No, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scorpio is keeping some secrets from you. And we need to share what's going on. We need to share what's going on, okay? Here we are, we're ready to communicate, and Sag is patiently waiting. Someone says they want a relationship, and they don't. The solution is, don't walk up, walk away. Walk it out, okay? Get up out of there, because it's too much confusion. Communication is not matching the actions, baby. So, we have you as the princess of arrows. You, you, you want to talk. You want to talk. Capricorn said, can we talk about it on my magic stick? And the answer is, oh, yes. Okay, let's go half on a baby, get married, and make a decision. The 15th could be important. You are neglecting your feelings. And Aquarius is like, let's get married and have children. How'd you get an Aquarius so in love? The answer is love. Go towards love. Go for it. Aquarius is waiting for you. And the 6th could be important. Taurus, you are learning new skills. You're trying to do better. And Pisces is like, come and get your love grub over here, okay? I am transformation. The answer is the tower. There is a lot of work that needs to be done on this relationship, but the bedroom is hot fire, okay? The first could have been very important for y'all. Wow, okay? Pisces and Taurus are having mad crazy love. It's beautiful. Happy for you. Congratulations. That could be the devil D trying to come back. So uh, pay attention. Let's look at your money. Your money, 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 money is saying, look, go for it. The three of scrolls. This is the energy of focusing and then watching who's behind you. Live your soul, not your role. There's a possible possibility of a promotion, increasing business and making things happen for you. Okay. 
So let's see, what is the energy for Taurus? We start off with the Ten of Cups, hopeful as fuck, okay? We're happy, we're going for it, and then we get stuck. A lot of Pisces energy coming in here for you. We get stuck in our head. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Promises, promises, promises with the Nine of Cups. And then we got to find our balances. Do not overcommit this month. Your, your creative endeavors are going to be very successful. And I have the Empress here and the Emperor here. So I do think that you could be going into business with someone also. Like it's a very prosperous situation. Give me something. Give me something with this Ten of Cups. What do we have? The High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. You know this is a good thing, okay? But you need clarity. And if you look at this card, he's got like a great idea. But you have to be very clear, okay? Crystal clear on how you want to move forward. The Fool says, get out of your head with the Seven of Cups. Go for it. The Nine of Cups says, there's a trip. There could be a lot of like dark energy, meaning like confusion, stress. Somebody needs to move. There's a quick move. And the Two of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. You're moving on with a good business partner. Look, it's a merger. The Hierophant, the Empress, and the Emperor are looking together. Family business, birthing it. It's beautiful. Then at the bottom, I have the Empress again with the Diamond, Diamond Ring, baby. The Diamond Ring, the Hierophant, the Sun, the Empress, the Emperor, soulmates. This is a merger. Someone is coming together in business, or maybe you're just getting married. And because who you marry, because sometimes what, what placement you have in the seventh house conjunct with something else, some of, I forget what sign it is, but there's big blessings when you get married. You get, you get abundant things because you draw in that energy. Why is the fool here? There's the ring. So we got two rings. That's commitment. Anxiety. You're, you're nervous. But you're going to go for it. You're going to do this. This is yours. It is a good business deal. Okay? Go for it. I feel like if you're doing a side business, whatever it is, it's going to be very, very prosperous. And you're going to enjoy this. So go for it. Okay? Do it. Do it. Just do it, okay? Guidance, be patient. Well, damn it, that came out twice. There is a connection with this. So either you're going to really work well with this business partner when you're moving forward. They're thinking about approaching you with this. Have patience with this, okay? Rest, rejuvenate. Get rid of any of attachment. That five vibration is changing. Changing your attachment to the outcome or the attachment to what you have to something will lead to more value. Very big value coming through blessings from the other side are coming through for you so that's a very beautiful promising financial read for you taurus um congrats let's close out this reading remember if you want a reading hit me up at arena luciano okay hit me up on the dms no don't don't because i'm not doing very well with that just go book it on my link tree I'm not good on the DMs right now. It's, it's too busy over there. Eclipse energy is very important for you this month. Pay attention. Light some candles. Clear your space. And navigate your emotions when it comes to money. You're really working with creativity. There's also a possibility of birthing a business or birthing a new baby. Okay? Because there's Holly with the child energy. And then we have the cow. So there's a lot of abundant energy coming towards you this month. You have a lot of great ideas. Whether it's to start a business or to um, revamp your business. All right. So if you're interested in a reading, hit me up. Come on over to Instagram. Let's be besties. Take care, Taurus, and be blessed.